Hello guys, in this tutorial, um, or sh I should say uh, series, it's gonna be a two, um, two video series. First one, we're gonna walk through the uh, MongoDB, how you can set up a cluster on MongoDB. And then we're gonna use the cluster in uh, Rust and just do basic query, creating or deleting or searching. Um, We'll do simple ones, but uh, for the first video, we're just gonna log in and create a new cluster, and then in the second video, we're gonna um, use Rust or uh, and the, the MongoDB driver to connect um, your cluster with uh, Rust. So to begin, go ahead and log in either using or sign up using either your email or Google, however you like. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to this page. If, you, if this is your first time logging in or signing up, most likely you'll be at this page where you will have to create an organization. So for our purpose, I'm just going to create a dummy uh, dummy organization, which I'm going to delete right after. But um, so we can just go ahead and say test as our uh, um, organization name. Uh, we're just going to go with the MongoDB Atlas here. We're going to click, uh, click, click next. And then you can um, add more users if you if you needed to if you, if you have a collaborators you can add them add them to your uh, organizations but uh, for our purposes just one email is good just gonna go ahead and create organization perfect so now you should be taken back to this um, or taken to the uh, organization page um, notice on the top uh, top left you'll see test um, so this is our organization that we created you can uh, see other ones and inside the organization you can create multiple projects um, for our purpose once again we're only gonna do simple uh, simple things so we're just gonna create one project so we're gonna create um, hit new project on the top right and we're gonna enter the name of our project nothing fancy we're just gonna say testing we're gonna go ahead and create next once again here you can add uh, so before you were allowed to add people in your organization now you can do uh, project specific if you don't want to give access to the whole um, organization so you can add more emails here if you need to um, for us we're just gonna create project and perfect it should be created so now you're taken to this page so before it was test then below you should see your uh, projects so we're currently we only have one project and we're in the testing project so there's that and these are all the data stores there's clusters there's triggers data lake um, but we're only concerned with cluster because that's what we're setting up here um, so we're gonna go ahead and create build a cluster now for the cluster we're just gonna go with the free tier for now and then um, so this is a little interesting, but uh, if you if you are planning to you know use some kind of some form of cloud later on, um, you could select uh, either one of them. I'm just gonna go with AWS. Um, I, I'm not really deploying this to any cloud, but since it is there, it's one of the popular ones. So AWS uh, region. Let's just keep it uh, the way it is. We don't need to change it. Um, so we can we'll keep it free for now if you need more storage um I, this one is more than enough to do any kind of lightweight work so you don't need to upgrade most in, in most cases you won't you need to upgrade but if you do feel free so we're just gonna keep with the free one um yeah we don't need to create any backup and cluster name you can create your cluster name uh, for us we'll just say uh we already took testing so actually no let's just keep it cluster zero okay we're just gonna keep it cluster zero you can change your name the way you like then we're gonna create cluster perfect so now you'll be taken to this page do note that this page will take some time it does say here that it's gonna take uh, between one to three minutes for me it took five minutes last time i did it so um it, it really depends um but don't worry if this is taking a while just um, just wait here. Once the process is done, um, the whole setting setting up process, you should see this. Uh, our name was Cluster Zero. That's why this is Cluster Zero. But if you chose a different name, 
it will be a different name um, here we have connect matrix collections Feel go ahead and try out um, see what these do um, you can go also ahead and uh, edit con configurations if you if you need to um, for our next video which we're gonna use uh, this cluster zero and we're gonna connect it to our um, our rust we're most likely gonna so we're gonna have to create a new um, database here um, we'll, we'll get into that uh, next uh, next video but for the for, for this video I think this is enough to set up a cluster also if you if you are planning to use it for any other kind of uh, uh, any other driver other than rust you know there's there's a connect uh, button here you can click it and then here it'll say add your current IP address at a different current at, at a different IP address or allow access from anywhere um, for our uh, for us we're probably gonna do allow access from anywhere um, if you if you are planning to use this uh, you know somewhere else where you you're, you're trying to make it more secure because you should um, this is for, for us I'm gonna delete the cluster right away like right after so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the basic settings so just keep it this IP address so um, that IP address will um, so it should be 0, 0.000 and that basically means that I can access it from anywhere for uh, create database user um, you're gonna need to create a user and a password does it you, you can create any user any password you need um, I'll, I'll you can just do DB user and then um, just do auto generate password and then create database user and it should create the user so then you can choose the connection method and these are the three method it has so for us since we are using an application or, or like a driver um, for most cases we will be using a driver so if it's node.js um, python java whatever, whatever it may be you're most likely going to be using this so if you click on it it'll tell you all the driver names um, notice that rust is not there but that's okay because um, we only need the uri which is going to be same uh, i think for most most of these uh, drivers it should be the same but um, so this is the uri this is the username this is the password um, this is the name of the database which we haven't created yet um, so this is cluster and then slash the database which we haven't created which we will create um, so yeah that is that is um, you just copy this uri into the driver and uh, it should be connected uh, we'll, we'll dive more into it next video for sure um, for now this is just brief in case you do want to try for a different uh, in a different driver like a different language um i just, I'm just, uh, just wanted to put it out there um so you can go ahead and close it um if you go in collections this is where you will see your databases in collection um of course we don't have it so we're just gonna um we can actually load in a sample data set let's do that uh, sample data set oh actually you know the size is kind of big let's do add my own data database name we'll just uh, call it my uh, first database once again name can be anything you need and um, our collection will be just let's just say users right we don't need to do anything fancy uh, first database and the collection name will be user of course collection name you, in, in a database you're going to have multiple collections and we'll dive also more into that but yeah let's just go ahead and uh, create so there you go so now you have uh, first database so organization inside organization there's multiple projects you have multiple projects inside a project you have this cluster um, which is named cluster zero inside cluster there's databases we only have one database first database inside database there's uh, collections so right here user collection and uh, this is where you can uh, insert document and uh, do all the fun stuff uh, we will we'll, we'll connect this when we add it it should be updated here delete it should be updated search and all that uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that next video using rust so that that was the scope of this project just setting up sorry scope of the this video setting up the cluster uh, i hope this was really easy to follow along if you have any questions feel free to comment down um but yeah have a have a wonderful day and see you next week